Welcome everybody to another great episode of The Careful Boys. We have with us today Mr. Chris Sosa oh. and Walter Hong. We got double today. Oh, now we got some real on. comedians in here, thank God. I know. You guys know each other from doing stand-up or no? No, no, it's the first time we met. Yeah, first time. So you guys both have been lying about doing stand-up there? Yeah. <laughs> that's what, I'm at the laugh factory. No, I'm, at, I'm at the laugh factory. Yeah. Wait, laugh factory? I just do stand up at home. <laughs> Why you have to do the laugh factory? <laughs> How long have you been doing stand up? Uh, I've been doing stand up now for seven to eight years. Dang. Dang. And you guys haven't crossed paths? I mean, maybe maybe the show on the same lineup or something. He used to host Chocolate Sundays. I didn't, I didn't host. Oh. I, I was on it. Oh, you were on it? Yeah. Okay. I'm a regular Chocolate Sundays. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're not very chocolatey, though. No, Chocolate no. factory. I, <laughs> I may have been one of their first like yellow regulars. That's tight. I right. may have been. You're more like butterscotch. Then. Yeah, a little bit yeah. now. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's summer. Uh, I, I can't. I can't say for a fact. I can't say for a fact. I am one of the first. But like, I I tell people I'm one of the first. I don't know if that's true. But you probably are. You're OG, I man. Could be like one of the first. Like and you saying it, I yeah. believe it. I trust yeah. it. Yeah, it, it sounds real. Cause I look old and everything. They verify them right now. I was really young when I started. <laughs> I look old. <laughs> you only look old. No, when, when I started, if you call Chocolate Sundays, it took six months to get yeah. your thing. But now I heard it's like four years. Yeah, it's a long oh, time. Yeah. Four, years? four years. Three to four. Yo, I've I, I've been on a I've been on the waiting this. list with the same thing, but it was like uh, mine was a year. But yeah, it took that long for me to like actually, and that and that's just to do the um what is it uh, first impression first impressions. So you get first impressions, which is before the show. They have two first impressions, and you get up there and you do three minutes, and then the crowd and and the producer, the promoter of the show, like. Lonnie, she'll she'll decide like if you make it to the graduate spot. And you gotta wait four years. Well, now that that list is Damn. long, yeah, it's gotten to yeah at least three for sure. Yeah, that's what they got going on. But it's cool. I mean, it it, it makes you like work for it. By the time you get to that that spot, you, yeah. you should you should do your thing. But even a freaking bachelor's. Yeah, yeah. 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 right. Even, even the graduate <laughs> spot, you still have to wait for the graduate spot. Yeah, so that's that's a God. line. So yeah. so you guys been in stand up for like quite some time, right? Um, I've been noticing a ton of new talent just popping up on my Instagram and I was just like is this is it is there more stand-ups like now coming out than when you guys started and stuff and like yeah is there like hella yeah. more stand-up there's definitely a huge wave that uh, that is coming out uh, for sure with like a lot a bunch of comedians and the way the format has been because a lot of comedians now are posting their jokes or, yeah. or, or crowd work mm, yeah, with yeah, the with yeah. the captions you know showing up because yeah. That we kind of figured out like there's a there's there's a, there's content there there's a piece of content that we could actually as comedians promote our you know our stand up so people will go like oh dope like you because know, some comedians I'm I'm maybe for, for, it's, it's different for you but you don't really want to post your set online you know what I mean it kind of uh, takes away from the the the, the, the yeah. surprise of the jokes or you know you kind of unfortunately run the, the risk of like com comics stealing jokes and stuff like that. But uh, when you get accused of, oh man, he has the same thing on YouTube that he does on stage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone, everyone watches like the Tonight Show and like Kimmel, and they think, oh, they have new jokes every day, so you should have new jokes every day. But right, yeah. well, I'm sorry, I don't have a staff of 20 millionaire writers to write me jokes. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll do it then. We'll sorry, we'll do it. We'll hop on staff. We'll be your writer. Like a request. <laughs> yeah. So in this day and age, would you say you think like social media? Um, if posting your your previously done jokes, do you think that helps your set? And then people go, oh, tell me that one joke. Or do you think mm -hmm. it ruins the shine of that joke when you first release there's, it? Okay, so in, in my career, there's only been, I think like one or two times where I've heard people, like the crowd was like, hey, do that one bit. And it was it was Mark Curry. And I the, the story that I heard was that he had, he's from Oakland. He had gone back to Oakland. Like, this is after hanging with Mr. Cooper and all that. And he had a whole set. Dude. He had a whole set. And they go, the people started shouting, hey, do that one bit, blah, 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 blah. And then do that one bit, because you know black people just shout stuff out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you get the other extreme Asian. Like the mouth. And really, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're looking out. They're looking out. That's yeah, like, that shirt they're, they're looking out for you. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's Most loving heckling yeah, ever. Dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, in Asians, you get lucky right, right. if they laugh, yeah. you know? <laughs> So it's a definitely like different thing. So but they're shouting stuff out. So apparently Mark couldn't do his set at all. 
Oh. He just he just did requests all night. He's a clean, oh, he's a clean wow. comic too, right? He's like, not really clean, but he's dude. He is a beast oh, on stage. Dude. He's, he's great, man. Yeah, That's yeah, been I haven't heard that name of soul. The, the, oh, if I were to um, like request a bit, one of my favorite bits is actually by uh, Kevin Hart. The one where he goes, "Oh, I'm gonna give you what you want." You know the one he talks about? Oh, yeah. just let me reach in my that yeah, one. Yeah, when he's getting robbed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he has his gun stored in his fucking dryer, and it's like behind yeah. the toilet. Like, oh, I'm gonna give you what you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you what you want. Yeah, I remember that. Shit. Yeah, and, the, and then they add the audio in the back, which is super cool too. It's yeah. a dope effect. <laughs> but what did you say? Like, what was, what was the the punch? It was always the. Uh, I think the punch Reveal. is him laughing at himself. Because <laughs> yeah. he has such a good time, yeah, you know, he does, yeah. that he can, like, because he's like, I think he, that whole bit, I think, um, heightens like three times. So it's yeah. about a robber that comes in and he goes, now nah, in this day and age, it's like crazy. So you gotta hide your guns all over the place, especially if you're balling or whatever. And then he has two, I think, Dobermans, but they're bitches. They don't do anything. Yeah. So now when the robber, the robber comes in, like, he, like he, he hides in different places. But then to like, I think distract them, he tells them like, "I'm gonna give you what you want," and then he pulls out like the gun. But then seeing him laugh, and then him thinking about where the next place yeah, is gonna yeah, be, like he knows where he's gonna go, yeah. and he's like, he's like laughing at himself. At, at the, the very last like uh, punch, he'll go, "I got one more," <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. and he's like crying, laughing. He's like, "I'm gonna give you what you want," <laughs> and he can't even get that's it out. Cool. Yeah, that's tight. That's tight. I heard they do that a lot now, like um. Because people that go to shows already know the set, they listen to their podcast, so it's like an inside thing, right? Yeah. So when they go, they're just like, do that one bit, do that one bit. And then like, I forgot if it was uh, Tom Segura or someone was like, half of their shows is just doing bits that people yeah. like. It's That's pretty cool. cool. <laughs> That's dope, that. right? Yeah. Isn't that a fucking dream, though? I mean, because because when I'm thinking about it right now, I'm like, uh, would I want to do that? Like, what, is that something would be cool? And I don't, I mean, thinking about thinking like uh, it, it would be cool. I just the only thing is that like we know we all know where it's gonna go. The punches. Mm. That's the most exciting part when I when I when we're take, taking yeah. you in the story yeah. and you guys have no clue yeah. that I'm about to hit you with this. Yeah. So true. I like yeah. the surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But when but I if, if I could think about like what those audience members are probably doing, it's like if you go to your favorite concert, like right. like your yeah. your band, right? It's fan You're service. Like, play, you gotta play the hit. You stairway. You gotta yeah. do it. Yeah. 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 You can't go to Led Zeppelin concert without listening to Stairway. Well, you know, it's like why? would it be if people knew your bits so much they were saying them with you that'd the be, whole yeah, way? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, it's about to come. It's about to hit. It's about yeah, to hit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Or they're trying to beat you to it. Oh, oh that, yeah. happens. Oh, that happens. People try to beat you to. But I think people, oh, people, I think incorrectly equate comedians and singers mm. because like mm. singers, you can go. Like I always say, America's Got Talent. Singers have it the easiest because they suggest, they even highly suggest you don't do original work. Like cover oh, someone else's song, sure, yeah. but a comic goes up. They don't tell the comic, "Hey, cover someone else's work. <laughs> you'll be good. You, you'll be wrong." Hey, dude, dude, you Dave Chappelle. You Dave Chappelle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just all of it. Yeah, yeah. All of it. Go. And then so people go to the shows and they, they talk to their friends <laughs> while while you're on stage because they think it's like a singer. Yeah. Like when a singer's singing, you can talk to your friend. It's yeah. no big deal. It won't distract that person person but for a comic it distracts us yeah. when you're talking to your friend he like, hey what, what do you want to do later <laughs> oh, I, I didn't think about that I didn't think about seeing people's personal like little shits oh dude it, and it's it's getting louder now mm. it's getting louder is it because there's a new crowd that's coming in that don't understand stand-up and then they're just like or people are just more entitled to edit, etiquette I yeah. think it's both oh. I think it's a, it, there's new people and it's also hey I can do what I want now yeah. Like I'm entitled, yeah. I, you know what? I'm more important than this person. I know no one came to see me, but I'm more important than this person on stage. Mm. So I'm gonna be like, yo, uh, hey, when we go know. out later, what do you wanna do? Do you wanna do shots or cocktails? And they'll have these and, straight and the, conversations while the stand-up is while the stand -ups on stage. Heckling, yeah. heckling videos are becoming famous, yeah. you know? Like Andrew Scholes. Yeah. Like, like his his crowd work was really a lot of like, had mm -hmm. a big uh, 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 reason of why like he popped off is his, his watching his, like his uh, clapbacks, his, yeah. his clapbacks yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. So now people kind of wanna be, yeah. you know, roasted back. You know what I'm saying? So it's one oh. of those things where so you're heckling's like, even crazier now. Yeah, I, in my opinion. I think so too. Yeah, time. I think people yeah. are out there going, "Yeah, that's me. He's talking shit exactly. to me." Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> people also incorrectly assume all stand-up comics do crowd work, mm. and that's not the case either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even the ones that yeah. do it, 95% are written beforehand. But the audience believes, oh, he's just doing it off the top of his head. No, it's like, 
oh, if there's an Asian guy right here, I'm gonna make fun of this. Yeah. And then they think, oh, dude, he's so on point. It's like it's off the top of his head. No, it's written down. Yeah. Don Rickles, who's the most one of the most famous. Don Rickles. Everything was handwritten. Wow. He would boy. have the host seat like. Sit a Jewish person here. Sit a fat person there. So all his movements wow. were based on where everyone was sitting. Wow! So it was constructed. Uh, like, wow! Most, you know, Dang, I didn't. I actually didn't know that. Yeah. Mo crazy. Most comics. <laughs> Donnie, why? Yeah. yeah. Most comics don't <laughs> have the like, because you have to be wired a certain way to like hear anything and then react. Yeah. Like in, in a funny He's way. He's like a yeah. faith healer. Yeah. Um, you look at like, <laughs> like a yeah. Yeah. The freaking crutches guy, the crutches guy like goes, oh! Yeah. <laughs> you know like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel, I feel the like Jewish guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is there a Jewish guy in this area? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a fat man on the side? <laughs> Is there a fat man? You can visually, you can visually see. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's, it's, it's definitely like, yeah, cause I think, when crowds come to comedy clubs, they assume comics are a certain way. Mm -hmm. And then when they don't get that, they're like, oh, this guy sucks. But it's like, no. Yeah. It's cer like certain comics do one-liners. They don't yeah. do stories. Certain co comics do stories and they don't yeah. do one-liners. You can't say, oh, this comic sucks because mm -hmm. they don't do one-liners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and so I think people that go to comedy clubs, when you guys go, be open. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, you're there to laugh. That's the main thing. Yeah. Don't forget that. Yeah, don't forget that. <laughs> oh man, I totally forgot. Do you think people in the past, the the comedy audience, understood like just what was what they were going for more? I think so, because they went frequently. Now also oh, like they would go like it's like going to the movies every week. Yeah, it's like a regular thing. Now you got people that just come for the first time or second time. They're like, oh, I got this. Like I I know what to do. Yeah. I've I've had people comment. On the jokes as the comics are doing jokes, and it's like, what are you, what are you doing? What the hell? Yeah. Like, it, like, like they're fucking commenting like it's YouTube. Yeah. Like, so like, the they'll make like comment. It's not like they'll make say, oh, that was a good joke or a bad joke. Yeah. It's like, let's say you're talking about laundry. Like, oh yeah, like yeah, I do laundry too. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, it, they, it, it's like, it's like they're in conversation with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. They're like in it. Someone get yeah. that guy, Mike. Yeah. He yeah. does laundry too. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it, it's, it's, I, I did like not. Laundry too. I have a question about uh, comedians online. I feel like because everything is such a uh, like a sports highlight of someone's set, yeah. only the best shit will go online for certain comedians. Have you ever seen a comedian online that you were like, oh, this guy's funny, and then you saw his whole set and you were like, dude had like mm. one good joke. Oh, uh, so it's like a movie say their trailer. name. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, tell them the camera and tell them who it is. Chris Sosa. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, I, I don't know. I think, I think in general with social media, right? Mm -hmm. We want to post our best bangers, bangers, yeah. right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're not, you're not posting you lifting Flops. the. Oh, you be doing some crazy shit with <laughs> yeah, your. Yeah, no, this guy's the exception. I was like, wait, actually, you be <laughs> trolling. This one, when this motherfucker does his whole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, he's about to fuck, and then doesn't even do it. I'm like, I get caught every time, bro. Because he does the, it's, it's the prep. It's the yeah. prep, the whole fucking thing. And I'm like, oh, oh, pointing at a muscle a, that he yeah, doesn't yeah. use. Oh, yeah. bro. He shows his fucking ass. To this, to the, or if it's on the dying. bench, his back arch is so crazy. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, he's about to fucking go in. And the video technique. ends. The motherfucker. Fails. <laughs> he falls over. Uh, I forgot where I was going with that. Oh, you want to post your bangers. Uh, but yeah, you want you want to you also listen for like the the heaviest laugh. You're like, oh, this is this is gonna be the 15 second that I that I that I post whatever. But yeah, you definitely have to follow up with like you know you gotta make sure your set's gonna be nice. You know, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like can't go out like that. You know. But it seems like nowadays most people just post like their crowd work though, like as their clips. It yeah. does seem like something that can be a little bit more disposable than actual material. Right. right. It feels 100%. more candid too. Yeah. 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 And I think that's what gets people in because I feel like all these people that are hopping on this trend, that's what they tend to do. Like that yeah. full Stavros, that full's popping up everywhere. Dude, Stavros is He's everywhere. everywhere dude. And it's just him shitting on different people, yeah. different hecklers that like yeah. you guys brought up that just want to be a part of the conversation and they just start talking to the comedian. Yeah. It shows what? It shows a little more authenticity, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Of like of uh, of uh, or he's naturally funny. Mm. You know, oh he oh he naturally has it. He's yeah. he's, yeah. he's on he's sticking this on point technically, right? Yeah. He's just coming up with it on the fly. But like, yeah, people like to think they're unique. Yeah, so yeah. like when a, like let's say a yeah. white guy that's like pudgy that's so sits true. down, uh -huh. he thinks no one else is white and no one else is pudgy. <laughs> Do jokes about me yeah. being white. The only white guy. Yeah, but the comic has already made jokes about a white Pudgy guy, yeah. a thousand times. Uh, a thousand times. Oh so God. when the guy sits down, everyone thinks, "Oh, my God, this guy's like crazy. He's funny." Like <laughs> no one ever came into this club that's white and is pudgy. No yeah. one ever did, yeah. you know. And so, 
And so the, the, the thing that sucks about, you know, when you only do cloud work, what sucks is the audience could turn on you too. Because they'll be like, oh, this guy's not funny enough to write material. Oh, so it's like you can't win one way or the so other. So critical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a true, balance. Yeah, it's a true. balance. You, you can't go balance. full on yeah. crowd work because then it's like because then especially if they're just dedicating their whole show to just this these two mm -hmm. people in the front row, yeah. then everybody else in the audience is kind of going like, okay, well, what about yeah. what about us? Then what about me? You know? Yeah, or, yeah. yeah. There's, there's a couple like Ian Bag is known for his crowd work. His whole set is crowd work. I don't even think I've ever seen him do. Regular material. It's just all crowd work. He just comes and but starts roasting. Yeah, people? he just starts yeah. talking to everybody, and like that's one way to do it. You know, he um, hosts for like ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's his hosting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's for a full set. E Ian, I didn't say that. Uh, that that's Bart Kwan that said that. <laughs> Imagine you buy his album, you don't know anything that he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's that's oh, one yeah. thing. Yeah. This guy looks like. <laughs> what is this guy he's talking to? Yeah, <laughs> it's like radio show. You're like, wait, no, I don't see the guy. Yeah. I don't know. Those that are based heavily on the like the local city that they're performing in you know oh, yeah. they don't oh, right, really know right. what you want to say. Oh, that barbecue spot down the street <laughs> everyone's like going crazy though yeah. they're going oh. like, what does that mean yeah oh yeah no people and what's funny is when you travel people town in town will say oh if you do a joke about this they'll love it because yeah. it's specific to local town I'm like yeah but if i take time to write this joke um i could only use it here <laughs> like yeah, 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 yeah. i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna do that you know <laughs> I mean, I know some comics do like a quick couple, like one-liners here and there to drop about the local knowledge. Two, three minutes of it. Or yeah. The it, audience gets hype over The yeah, audience yeah. is hype over but, but when you lot, listen right? to it, you're like, what? I, I don't I don't know that street. Or like, I don't know. And so, you don't have yeah. like jokes where there's just like a blank and you can put whatever town or thing. You don't <laughs> fill your yeah, name, your, your yeah. city. Yeah. It's like the Southwest commercial. Welcome, you know, thank you, San Francisco. Like, we're in LA. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like one of those things. Oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> I don't think I've ever, have you ever had a moment where you like messed up the city that did it's out loud saying like, you know, oh, Orlando! You're my about a crowd turning yeah, yeah, on you, man, yeah, dude. dude. I've done that, what, hosting, I've done it to comics names. Oh. Because, on like, purpose? No, yeah, no, not, I wish. I wish it was on purpose. Ben Burr! <laughs> ben Burr! <laughs> One of the worst ones for me, because like this guy's name is Cisco. This comic's name is Cisco. And this is like, this is like one of the worst and, and best ones. So, um, when it's a new word or I don't know the comic, um, like Chris is easy. Like okay, I'll remember. Like when you come on stage, it's Chris. But like uh, uh, for Cisco, I, I know the word, but I don't know. I didn't know the name and, and the guy's name. You know, associated to him. Mm -hmm. I go on stage and I'm doing my set, and he's the first comment. I'm bringing him up, and in my mind, I know it's a, there's a C and a C and an O, but I've neglected the I S. <laughs> okay, in my mind. So I'm just like, okay, cool. I mean, everyone welcome to the stage. Coco! Oh. <laughs> and then he's on the side and he goes, it's Cisco. And I go, and then for me, like when I make a mistake, Coco. I'll start over. Like, I'll, I'll own the mistake. But that's I'll funny. And I start yeah, over. Do, do you, do you like walk back and then walk back out? Well, no, what happened was it's like, so <laughs> that's, you should do that. It was like, oh, you know, hey. And then so like, I was like, hey, everyone, you know what? And I put, you know, listed his credits yeah. again. And I was like, hey, everyone. Put your hands together for Cisco, and I brought him back on, right? And I'm like, dude, I'm so sorry, man. And then the security guard, he goes, he's laughing, he's dying. <laughs> he, goes, he goes, hey, you know what though? You were confident with it. I believed it was. Everyone believed his name was Coco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody, make some noise. Get on your feet. Put your hands together. You send him all over the country, and you're in your head, you're like, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? <laughs> you're building it up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's time. a C O. There's a C O. The, he took out the S, the I, and the S. But I'm just like, fuck. I'm gonna add another C O. Give it up for Go. Go! That's, that's exactly what like, nuts. And he's like, no. Nah. We're just buying as much time, <laughs> looking at your phone. Oh. He's performed here. Yeah. He's yeah. performed there. What's the guy's name? What's the guy's name? Do you guys know the comic Ron Pearson? No. He's a juggler, amazing juggler. So, like, towards the end of his set, he has a whole set of just juggling, and he does comedy with, while he's juggling. Wow. He, now I hate. Now I hate that I don't know him. I don't know. Because the thing you're like, yeah, he's a crazy juggler. Like. That's why we don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, no, it's not my bad. You gotta start juggling, dog. <laughs> he has time. He'll balance the stool on his chin. What? He goes he goes a lot around a lot with George Wallace. Wow. Oh, no. oh, wow. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They'll just pick a city on the, at the airport yeah, and they'll sure. go. You didn't say it was royalty. They'll <laughs> perform. Like what? OG George Wallace? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, damn, that's it's crazy. So, like, so Ron Pearson, that name sounds awfully similar to Ron Perlman. Who, yeah. if you don't know Ron, the Ron, actor, sons of an an yeah, the guy from Hellboy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he narrates the UFC like embedded things. Oh, he does. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a deep cut. Yeah. So at the time, Sons of Anarchy was big. 
So I'm, I'm you know, I'm thinking, you're like, oh, Ron, all I have is, on my mind is Ron Perlman. <laughs> but then as soon as I say Ron, I'm about to say Perlman, Ron Per, I'm like, his name's not Ron Perlman, his name's not Ron Perlman. <laughs> yeah. so, what are you doing, what are you doing, what are you doing? So I was like, no joke, I went, you know, put your hands together for Ron. Per, 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 per. <laughs> And I'm like, what's his name? What's his name? But the whole time I'm going, Purp, 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 Oh, you got it. Oh, Yo. And, and then Ron comes out and he goes, what was that? I go, dude, for a split second, I thought your name was Ron Perlman, but I know it's not. So I, and he starts dying, dude. He starts laughing. <laughs> you just turned into a dubstep DJ, bro. <laughs> 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 Like, it's kind of cool. They're waiting for the like, drop. They're yeah. like, what's his name, yo? Imagine the next <laughs> comic's like, I want you to announce my name. <laughs> <laughs> that becomes your fucking shtick, dude. <laughs>